tutorial you will learn how to create a shortcut on desktop in Windows Server 2003 environment by tech.peterchrist.com Now log on to a server. Let's log on to the server with user rights. Let's put type the username. Now to create a shortcut, right click on the desktop, go to new, click on shortcut. As you can see, the shortcut wizard has been opened. On the shortcut wizard, type the shortcut command. Now let's say if I want to create a shortcut for add and remove program. To create an add and remove program shortcut, let's type the add and remove shortcut command. That is A P P W I Z dot C P L. Next, next. Now as, as you can see, the add and remove shortcut has been created on the desktop. If I want to open the add and remove, I will click on it. As you can see, add and remove program has been opened. Now let's create one more shortcut. Go to new. Click on shortcut. Type C O M P M G m t dot m s c now next looks like the shortcut command is wrong let's check it again now let's click next as you can see computer management shortcut has been created now let's create one more shortcut of let's type d s a dot m s c now as you can see active directory user and computers shortcut has been created now let's create a shortcut for share folder first we have to access the share folder to access the share folder, double slash, type the server name and enter. As you can see, all the share folders has been opened on our network. Now let's create a share shortcut for this particular. Now there is two ways to create a shortcut for of this. First is just drag and drop on the desktop. As you can see the shortcut has been created and the other way to create a shortcut is right click and you can see map network drive click on it select the particular drive letter let's say for V and then click finish as you can see network drive shortcut has been created now to open this drive I only have to go to my computer as you can see the network drive for this particular A folder has been created here now I can open it directly this share folder thank you for watching our tutorial in our next tutorial we will teach you how to use run as command